afternoon cactus people now as you know we've been looking after some rescue cactus that we got a week or so ago uh, I've given them a dose of bug clear to get rid of any mealy bugs I've sprayed a few mealy bugs that I have found uh, with methylated spirits and um, I've given them a good soaking and I've given them a good feed as well and some of them are picking up uh, unfortunately these ones here haven't been so uh, so good. These, I'm afraid, are all dead. Uh, they've shuffled off this mortal coil. They are no more. These are ex cacti. Uh, we won't do anything with them at the moment because we've got more pressing things to do. This tray, on the other hand, is looking quite well. They're greening up. They're responding well to um, a bit of feed and the good water. Uh, I don't think there's anything anything wrong there. We're not going to have any problems with these, so uh, <coughs> I'll leave these be at the moment. They will need repotting very soon. It looks like they've been in the same pots for quite a few years. Uh, but uh, they're fine for the, the time being. And the main thing I want to show you today was um, a couple here that we've got new growth on. This one is the um, Pontia Vestita. Uh, the ones you may have seen on the moving cacti videos I've done. Uh, this is new growth since I got it, which um, is very a very good sign. There was um, some other parts of this which came off. Uh, these bits are quite dead. And they have got spikes inside the wall. I can feel, but they're not too bad to hold. <coughs> um, it was that fluffy. I thought it might have been one of the others, like... Um, Ostrocylindra puntia flacosa, um, or even um, a, a lagopus, but um, time will tell. It probably is a vestita because it's labelled that. So um, that one I'll be repotting very soon, like today. <coughs> and the other one I want to show you was this um, pachypus, which has got new growth on the top. I really ought not to touch that. So it's quite. Uh, quite spiky. I hope you can see the new growth if I hold it closer to the camera. That is very encouraging. Now this one I'm not going to repot. I'm actually going to put it in the bed next to the existing pachypus I've got down here which is only this big in comparison. <coughs> um, this smaller one which is also a pachypus and it's also got green on the side. It's not showing um, new growth on the top yet but when I watered I noticed the um, the water was staying on the top of the pot so this needs repotting urgently it's compacted in there so um, the drainage has gone which won't be good for it um, so I will get that one done today and I've selected a pot just about the same size but a clay pot and I'll give it a nice gritty mix to uh, make sure it drains very well um, <coughs> so I'm very pleased to have a couple of pachypuses. And um, while we're at it, I'm not doing anything with this today, but this um, tunella, if I can hold this up without stabbing myself too much, uh, has actually got a field number with it, so it just says tunella species in there. It's got um, the number PH47.02, which means I can, uh, I can look that up <coughs> and find out where it came from which will be uh, very nice. I shall add that onto the uh, the next video when I do it. Right. <coughs> that will be all for this evening. And uh, just to um, supplement the video I made on my other channels, the East Coast and Countryside, uh, this is another use for rhubarb. Um, we've actually hollowed this out, dried it, and we've made a D from it. So. <coughs> There you go, Diana. <coughs> Another use of rhubarb that you didn't know about. Thank you all for watching. <coughs>